What's up guys? Today is Wednesday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. And what better way to celebrate than with a big old stack of books from Infinity Flux here in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and a couple of extra goodies as well. So let's take a look at some of these books, starting with Marvel, starting with Amazing Spider-Man number 43, the nice Thwip variant. I believe this is the next to last issue of the Gang War storyline. And honestly, I'm kind of ready for that to be over. It hasn't been as good as I wanted it to be, so... Uh, I'll be excited when that ends. Also got Daredevil Black Armor number four. This is the last issue of this miniseries, and this miniseries has been fantastic. Great story, great artwork. I hope we get more of this because it was awesome. We've also got Miles Morales Spider-Man number 16. I believe this might be his last part of the Gang War storyline, or maybe there's one more. Not too sure, but uh, Miles versus Hobgoblin is awesome. We've also got Superior Spider-Man number four, Peter versus Doc Ock in Peter's mind, which is pretty crazy, and we get a couple of surprise appearances near the end, which is really cool. And then we have Vengeance of the Moon Knight number two, and this one was really, really good. The new Moon Knight wants all of the former Moon Knight's associates to get out of the Midnight Mission because he has things he wants to do, but they don't want to leave. And, uh, you know, hilarity ensues, I guess. But a really, really good issue of Vengeance of the Moon Knight. As for DC, we've got Action Comics number 1062, part two of the I Bizarre storyline which is also the second issue in this new Superman Superstars initiative. Great story, great artwork. This is a fantastic issue. We got Batman number 143, part two of the Joker year one storyline. I did like this one better than the last issue. And they did a great job tying in some things from the past into the current storyline. So I like this one. Uh, Batman and Robin number six, loving this book too. I'm loving uh, seeing more of a dad side of Batman uh, being with Robin, Damien. Uh, it's been really great. We also got Blue Beetle number six, and I want to say this is the last issue of this first story arc. Not 100% sure, but uh, I've been enjoying this. And then when I really loved Green Lantern number eight. Normally I go for the eight covers, but I could not pass up this awesome Kyle Rayner variant. Very awesome issue of Green Lantern. The Kyle Rayner backup story was great, so more of all of this, please. And then Wesley Dodd's Sandman number five. Next to last issue of this series, and I've said it before, I'll say it again. All of the new Golden Age stuff. Uh, from DC has been awesome and I hope we get more of it. And then for Image, we've got Creep Show, Joe Hill's Wolverton Station number one, a book full of werewolves and uh, werewolves being in a Creep Show book, you can imagine how that might go. We've also got Scorch number 26, that awesome. Uh, I don't know if this is a variant or not, but uh, it's a great cover there. And then probably my favorite book that I've read this week is Transformers number five. Every single issue of Transformers just absolutely blows me away, and this one is no exception. So good. If you aren't reading this series, please read it because it's so awesome. But the fun doesn't stop there. i got a couple of extra goodies as well. These are both big boy books. Neither of them are new this week, uh, but they came in a couple weeks ago. My LCS is great about holding on to these for me until I can get them. And this is the Iron Fist, Danny Rand, the early years omnibus. Just collecting uh, Marvel Premiere 15 through 25, Iron Fist 1 through 15, and then a whole bunch of other stuff. Just some good classic 70s uh, Iron Fist books. I guess I probably didn't really need this. I had the Epic Collection, but this has a little bit more in it, so I went ahead and got this. And then I finally got the ROM, the Marvel Years Omnibus. A missed opportunity to call this the Romnibus. And this is Volume 1. I think there's a Volume 2 coming out soon. Just collecting ROM 1 through 29. I have never read any ROM before, ever. And I've been trying to get them when I find them in dollar bins or something because until this, that's the only way you could read them. They haven't been collected or they're not digital or anything like that, but now they're all in this book. So I cannot wait to crack this open and learn more about ROM. And that's it, guys. Another great haul, another fun week of comics. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, life is short. Like what you like, ignore what you don't. Also, don't forget that if you need an LCS from which to order any of these books right now, or from which you pre-order books that are coming soon, you can visit infinityflux.net. You can order any of these books right now as long as they're in stock. Uh, you can order them and they'll be shipped right to you. Or you can look ahead to the future. You can pre-order books that are coming soon. You can set up a pull list. You can pick whichever covers you want. And then when those books are released, they will be shipped right to you. And if you do that, you get 10% off. And if you use the promo code BUMPKINS, you get an additional 10% off. That is a one-time use code, but it does not expire. So you can use it uh, this week or next week or the week after, whatever you want. But yeah, use the promo code BUMPKINS for an additional 10% off. Again, guys, I appreciate you watching. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, stitch, share, smash buttons, and ring bells, and stitch, and duet, and remix, and whatever you got to do on whatever platform you're watching this on for more videos about these books throughout the week.